What's up you guys, this is Jace here and today I'm going to bring another tutorial of this video of Dragon Boost Armor Gear from High School DxD. If you don't know what High School DxD is from the show or if you don't know what uh, Dragon Boost Armor Gear does, in the show this character named uh, Izai, he is a, a very perverted boy in high school to all the girls where he has the power of the his gear of Dragon Boost Armor Gear where he could obliterate to anybody against from Angel, Fallen Angel and the Demons. And if you guys curious about uh, the show called High School DxD, I uh, suggest you to lock the door and uh, turn off the lights and uh, grab a tissue and lotion and uh, enjoy the show. So here, what you're gonna be needing in this video. First, you need foam utility mats that has four pieces and one pack, a cutting blade, half circle foam 1.9 inch by 3.9 inch, super glue, heat gun and red, yellow, and green spray paint. I've already done this shape, but you need a few pieces of paper to fold it in half and make this shape that look like a kite. Draw this shape in half that look like a large crown. Draw a half large circle so it'll look perfect to cut a full circle. So the kite shape should be fit the round half circles for the booster. Draw a half shape like an arrow. And draw half of the shape that's kind of look like in half arrow. Make sure both of the edges between two shapes should be almost connected. Now that you cut all the pieces in half, the armor should be look like this. Make sure to write down the number so later you can super glue to attach the shape of the armor. Don't forget to shape a little small crown from the number I wrote down the 3 and 4. The 3 and 4 is the same shape that you will use into the two pieces of shape. And your arm will cover from the Dragon Booster armor look like this. Now what you will be needing is a foam mattress. And use any of your pieces to cut the foam. I've already done two small crown pieces that I cut it out. And make sure to cut the foam in 90 degrees angle with your blade. Now that you got all the pieces cut out, your armor will look like this. Now you need to use is heat gun to heat it all the pieces to bend a little. Now that you heated all the pieces, you will be using the half circle foam that will be placed in the middle of the circle armor. You will be making paper mache to cover the foam. It's okay that you don't have to cover the bottom of the foam. When the paper mache dry from the foam, you can paper sand it to make it smooth and soft. Looks like you are ready to spray paint all the foam. Don't forget to cut 3 square pieces of foam mats. You will need to spray paint these and it's part of the armor. Before you spray paint, you need to separate all the pieces to spray paint the different colors. So what you are gonna spray paint is the red. 
And this is the shape you will need to spray. Now you finish spray paint red, you will spray paint the color of the green for a half circle form and yellow spray paint is for the half arrow form. When you finish spray paint the front in 24 hours, you can spray paint the back and make sure to spray paint all the sides as well. When it's ready to dry, you're ready to super glue to attach all the pieces formed together. And don't forget the number you wrote to which pieces to super glue first. After your super glue is dry, your dragon booster armor looks really awesome. But we're not done yet. The last thing is to do is to make the claw and hand to attach the booster gear. So what you need is to make 5 origami finger claws and the left side of black gloves. It is supposed to be on the left side arm cause Izai has his booster armor on his left. And I would thought of you guys to make an origami by yourself and it's supposed to be really easy to make the claws. All you have to do is just super glue the claws inside and attach the fingers to fit in. After you super glue the claws, you can spray paint the red all over the hands and claws. You must separate each finger to spray between them. When you finish spray paint, let it dry at least till late at night if you are spray paint during the day. And if you don't have to spray paint the bag too much cause you are ready to super glue the armor.
and here it is you guys your dragon booster armor gear is ready if you do see the missing spot for spray paint red you can just color red with your marker or if you want to you can just paint but you are now ready to cosplay as Isai from high school DXD well I hope this video helped you out making this uh, dragon boost armor gauntlet and uh, I, I really want to say thank you so much for the 50 subscriber on my second channel and uh, I, will pro I will promise for sure that I will make another video for my second channel because I've been going away for a little while because I've been like completely busy around my family and my work so so my, I'm back already and uh, hopefully I'll upload more videos sooner or later and uh, leave a like if you if you like this video and also helps you out making this armor subscribe become a new chase family and leave a comment what you think about this video and don't forget to share the video if you want to be if you want people to make this uh dragon boost armor gauntlet so uh thank you so much for the 50 subscriber once again and uh i'll see you guys later chase out peace